poem. Let's look now at Psalm 143. A Psalm of David. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my plea as you are faithful. Answer me as you are beneficent. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for before you no creature is in the right. My foe hounded me, he crushed me to the ground, he made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. My spirit failed within me, my mind was numbed with horror. Then I thought of the days of old. I rehearsed all your deeds, recounted the work of your hands. I stretched out my hands to you, longing for you like thirsty earth. Selah. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit can endure no more. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall become like those who descend into the pit. Let me learn of your faithfulness by daybreak, for in you I trust. Let me know the road I must take, for on you I have set my hope. Save me from my foes, O Lord. To you I look for cover. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your gracious spirit lead me on level ground. For the sake of your name, O Lord, preserve me. As you are beneficent, free me from distress. As you are faithful, put an end to my foes. Destroy all my mortal enemies, for I am your servant. The tone, the mood of this psalm is quite stark in terms of the impatience of the psalmist. He cannot wait for God to answer his prayer and to rescue him from his foes. He needs this done ASAP. He asks God, answer me quickly. Do not hide your face from me. He asks God to be sure that by daybreak he will have deliverance from his foes. He can wait no longer. The psalmist is at his wit's end. And so while impatience is part of the tone of this psalm, we also have a reflective notion having to do with looking back on history. The psalmist is able to pause for a moment while experiencing the acute anxiety and fear that he feels while being pursued and hounded by his enemies, but he is able to stop for a moment when he says, when my spirit failed within me, my mind was numb with horror, but then he says, then I thought of the days of old, I rehearsed all your deeds, recounted the work of your hands. So the days of old would refer here to the past history of the Jewish people, when God rescued them from Egypt by means of the ten plagues, caused the waters at the Sea of Reeds to part while the Israelites walked through on dry land, were saved in the desert uh, from hunger and from thirst by the manna that was provided for them every day, and by the water that Moses was able to, uh, or God actually, through the agency of Moses, was able to provide for the people when Moses uh, spoke to the rock and then in the later incident struck the rock, bringing forth water for the people. The psalmist gains comfort and hope by reflecting back on the historical interventions of God on behalf of God's people. And so while he is feeling acute fear and anxiety, he thinks back on the old days, and that helps him to feel a little bit better. And falling back on that past history of God's intervention in history on behalf of God's people, the psalmist is able to look ahead with some hope. Now I think about what we go through today when our democracy feels threatened from many sides and when we wonder whether indeed our democracy can endure, especially when there are so many who are trying to thwart 
uh, freedom of speech, the free process of election, uh, stacking the courts, and so many other ways that democracy is imperiled today. And then we look back on the history of our country and the many times when democracy has pulled through during times of stress and peril. Of course, a few of the most notable examples are the Civil War, when because of Lincoln and his vision and the bravery of the soldiers in blue, the North prevailed, the United States prevailed, the Confederacy lost. Think of what would have happened had the Confederacy won the Civil War. Where would our democracy have been then? And then fast forward ahead about 90 years to the time of McCarthyism in the 1950s, when again, free speech was threatened, when people were afraid to take political stances that even uh, had a whiff of concern for the downtrodden and the poor and the needy, uh, positions that even uh, circled around vaguely notions or ideas of socialism or socialist uh, ideals. Anyone who expressed those would be threatened by the government through McCarthyism. But even then, democracy prevailed and came through. We think of the Watergate era when laws were broken by the president and his underlings in order to maintain their own positions of power and were willing to break the law and hide what they were doing in order to keep their positions. Democracy was threatened, but democracy came through. And I firmly believe that democracy will prevail again in our time and in our day. But the psalmist also reminds us that it is through faith and hope in God that we can get through times of darkness and emerge into the light. The two prevailing concepts in this psalm that are attributed to God are the ideas of God's chesed, namely God's steadfast love for us. In this psalm, the word chesed is translated as faithful, but elsewhere in the Psalms, it is, all, it is often translated as God's steadfast love, God's chesed. And also, God, God's tzedakah, or tzedek, uh, translated in this context as beneficence, and it is mentioned twice in our Psalm, referring to God's beneficence. And so just as the psalmist reminds us that human beings by nature are fallible, the psalmist asks God not to enter into judgment with, with him, with God's servant, namely with all of us, for before you no creature is in the right. Compared with God, we are continuously failing, we are fallible, we cannot be in the right throughout our lives. Essentially, it is in our nature to mess up in contrast with God, who is ever faithful and right and just and bestowing us with God's grace and loving kindness. Mindful of that and knowing about our fallibility and also knowing that God is loving and compassionate, infinitely perfect, we can gain hope and strength. Hopefully, God's wisdom can see us through. God's power 
can intervene to help make right what is wrong in our lives, in our society, and in our world. This is something to keep in mind and always to pray for. Thank you.